Boom. Hey there, it's Lenny McGill with the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop, taking a picture of a custom gun for my Instagram page. If you don't follow me on Instagram, it's at Lenny McGill. And of course, we've got uh, Glock Store as well. Uh, so I've got two different Instagram pages, one personally and one for Glock Store, on which you'll see a lot of really cool things, including this particular custom build that we just got done at our custom shop. And as you can see, it's quite striking. Now keep in mind, this started off as a plain black Glock. And that's what we do. We transform those plain black Glocks, PBGs, into fully custom guns. And this one is quite a work of art. So let's go ahead and detail what we've done here. You know, first and foremost, you're going to notice the, um, uh, the color, okay? <laughs> I mean, wow, it, it's striking. So the colors we have here, this is a chocolate brown. It's a Cerakote chocolate brown. That's for the, um, the frame the magwell, and some of the extended controls. So right here, that's the extended magazine button. Now, the top is a burnt bronze, but it's a battle-worn burnt bronze, so it has a kind of a, a, a little distressing in there. You can kind of see it right up here along the edges. And uh, it's designed to look like, you know, it's been used a little bit, like it's a rugged type gun. Uh, it's kind of hard to see in this lighting, to be quite honest, how beautiful it is. But it is pretty striking, that, uh, that battle-worn concept. And uh, it has, a you know, like I said, a little texture to it and uh, gives it a little bit of uh, character. Uh, the other thing you're going to notice as well is the uh, basket weave stipple job that we've done on this. And it really is attractive. It just has a neat pattern to it. It looks good. We also did the back strap. I really like the way that looks when the uh, light goes on it like so. Uh, the back strap is a, uh, uh, also the basket weave, but you'll see it's been outlined by some rather traditional stippling right here. As we come up the side and go cir full circle and then back down the side right there. So just to accentuate the uh, grip panels themselves. And then, of course, here on the front, same thing. We've got our standard stippling and then our basket weave right in between on the finger grooves. So it's, it's quite a job. It, you know, it really takes uh, a lot of time. These are done by hand, uh, and um, they're beautiful. I mean, I really have to, you know, hats off to our guys at the custom shop here at the Glock store. Now, the other thing that we've done that I want to show you uh, very closely, and, and two things. One, you know, like I said, this looks really attractive but it does give you a better grip. It's definitely more tacky than the factory uh, uh, stipple or factory texture. Um, we've uh, also done what we call our uh, Glock knuckle cut. And, you know, there is a reason for this. I mean, the Glock, you know, is kind of blocky and square right here. So when you come up to this and you actually shoot it, uh, any type of uh, frequency or, or length, 100, 200, 300 rounds, uh, you start to develop what we call the Glock knuckle. And that's just a little callus right here. And so uh, we've come up with a little scheme that allows us to scallop that out a little bit, gets you uh, uh, away from that Glock knuckle, but it also allows you to get a higher grip up on the gun, which allows you to control the gun better. If you control the gun better, shot to shot, you'll be more consistent. If you're more consistent, you'll be more accurate, and you'll be able to shoot faster with faster and more accuracy. So it's like, it really is functional. It looks good too, but it really is functional. Now, the other groove that we've cut, we call it trigger undercut, and that's for your offhand to come and rest right there and give you a place to rest and kind of give you something to hold on to. Uh, it uh, certainly uh, is functional, but also uh, attractive because it just makes it look a little bit more cool. All right, nothing wrong with being cool. We all want to be cool. <laughs> all right, so uh, uh, of course, we talked about the extended controls. Uh, this is our teardrop magazine release button. And I don't know if I mentioned this is a Glock uh, 34, of course. It's a Gen 3 34. Uh, it's got the RMR red dot optic cut. So what we've done there is we've actually gone into the slide, cut the slide down a little bit, tapped two holes to accept the screws for the RMR, of course, you know, so you can actually attach it to the slide, lock tight those puppies in there, and then go ahead and uh, you know, get this thing uh, set in there so it sets as low as possible. That's the key. It, it sits lower because we cut the slide. It sits lower than the factory MOS because of the factory MOS, they cut the slide, but then they put a plate on top and it sits on top of that plate. This one, we cut as low as possible without getting into the, uh, uh, the inner workings of the Glock, uh, you know, the, um, 
the firing pin and or the uh, extractor depressor channel there. And um, we're able to uh, really sit that, light, that sight a little bit lower. Why would you want it lower? Well, the lower it is, the more pointable it is, the more point of aim. Uh, when you sit up higher, it gets to be, you got to adjust your grip to be able to make sure you can see the sight and, and it's just a little bit funky. You know, we, you can certainly get used to it. And of course, all the open guns uh, that we build have a, um, a mount and the sight sits up about here, you know, maybe an inch and a half, two inches taller than where it's at right now. Uh, but that's another story. This is, uh, uh, this is more of a practical, tactical uh, shooter. You know, I've seen a lot of people transition from iron sights to the red dot optic. As we get older, you know, it's a lot easier to shoot with just the red dot than it is with the, uh, the iron sights. Uh, speaking of iron sights, though, uh, this particular gun has a co-witness option. So we've got, as you can see, uh, the, um, uh, uh, the suppressor sights that sit taller than your standard sight. And so you notice how tall the front sight is, or excuse me, the rear sight is back here. See how tall that is in relative to any of the other sights? And you're going to see the same thing on the front sight out here, how tall that is. But the concept there is it looks through the glass of the RMR, and you can still get a sight picture. How cool is that? So you really have the best of both worlds. You have the red dot, which is significantly faster, and you have the iron sights, or the traditional three-dot sight, where you line up your deal there, and uh, if all is good, your red dot will sit right on top of your, uh, your front sight, which is kind of the way I like to set it up. So, that's kind of the cosmetic stuff and some of the things that really make it shoot a little bit better. But one of the other things I have to tell you about is our flat face pyramid trigger. And this one is also chocolate brown, black. So it's black, chocolate brown, and silver. It's a neat look. Silver safety, chocolate brown insert, and black shoe. Now the idea behind the pyramid trigger, not only does it look cool, okay, but it is a shorter and a lighter trigger pull. Because of that, you're able to literally manipulate the trigger faster, and you're less likely to disturb the sight picture as you pull the trigger, and because of that, you can shoot faster and more accurately, which is what this game's all about. Faster, more accurately, and with consistency. Now, let's go ahead and look inside here, and you're going to notice we've got our tungsten guide rod. Now, this is the extended tungsten guide rod that sits in our Glock 34, Glock 35, uh, that is longer than the factory guide rod for a reason, because it's got about 20% uh, more weight, it's 20% longer than even our, um, our, our regular tungsten guide rod, because we have the extra length here. You can see how it sits out all the way towards the, uh, uh, the barrel there. So what happens is the normal guide rod comes to about right here. This one comes right out here to the top. Now that extra weight helps reduce any of the muzzle flip and muzzle rise and uh, felt recoil, a lot of that is you know, really absorbed by that extra weight, that dead weight below the barrel. So that's uh, a very functional piece. And one of the most popular things we sell is our tungsten guide rod. It's a super heavy tungsten guide rod. So again, the pyramid trigger, shorter, lighter, crisper trigger pull, just like that. And the reset is always short as well. So again, we don't have as long a stroke and hence that allows us to manipulate that trigger a little bit faster. So this is just one of the custom guns that we do. I've got it posted now on my Instagram page. You can go look at there. And then, of course, uh, if you've got a custom gun idea, that's the key. If you want to build something like this, hey, I really like that. I want to build one. We can do it from scratch. Or if you already have the gun, send the gun in and we'll build it up from there. The key is to be creative, to use uh, these videos, the ones that I'm doing right now. And I've got a whole bunch more with a whole bunch of different guns with a whole bunch of different options. Look through them and see what you like best and mix and match and, and, and come up with something that you want to do that's truly custom. Just like this. I'm Lenny McGill. This, of course, is the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop right here in San Diego. And if you're ever in the San Diego area, drop by and say hello. People do it all the time. I go out and shake some hands and take some pictures and we have a ton of fun together. Uh, we've got a great shop, great people. Got a shooting range here too that's very unique and unusual. And we will put you through the paces if you want to shoot Want to shoot some custom guns before you buy one? Come on down. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.